Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a fall decorate with me. I'm so excited to be sharing the reveal of my fall 2020 decor. Everything that I put together this year, I'm so happy with it. So grab a coffee and find all of your fall decoration inspiration. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, we're doing a fall decorate with me today. I'm so excited to be sharing this video with you. A lot of sweat and tears went into making this video for you. If you're new here, my name is Morgan. I do lots of fun cleaning content and decorating content with some Mama Day in the Life videos. I also have some DIYs up here on my channel, including a DIY for this sign and for other signs. I will leave the links down below for you for how I make my signs. I would love if you guys considered subscribing to my channel before you leave today so that you don't miss out on any of my other fun videos. I have so many fall videos coming for you guys and I cannot wait. I'll also be doing a home tour here very soon. But anyways, getting back into the content here, I'm so excited to be sharing this little sign with you guys. Actually, it's not so little, it's pretty freaking gigantic. So I wanted to do something above my dining room shelves, but honestly, in the end, I did not end up using this sign. But I still wanted to include it in today's video to show you guys how I make my signs a little bit, just like a behind the scenes. Um, I use my Cricut, but you can also use transfer vinyl and just print out on paper so easy that's how i originally started making my signs in my business um like four or five years ago and it worked out great but um like i said i ended up not using this sign just because it didn't vibe well with the like decor theme that i had going on i might use this in the future um but anyways i like to distress my signs i used a gray paint and then did a green pumpkin it definitely needs a couple of more pumpkins like staggered on there um, but anyways, I'm just distressing it a little bit and then I plan to uh, like hopefully soon put a frame on here. A wood frame would just tie out this sign so nicely along with those other pumpkins like on the side of the um, main one. But anyways, I ended up taking this down later on in the video because I just was not in love with how this was coming together. Speaking of not in love with things coming together, I decided to swap out my table centerpiece. This tablescape was beautiful, but honestly, we were getting like food stuck in the garland and things like that. So I decided to move it and I got this tray from Home Goods. I got the candle holders from Hobby Lobby. I will have everything that I possibly can linked down below for you guys in the video description box because I know that you guys are going to want to know where I got everything. So much fun. And also wanted to mention Mike tried to decorate with me, um, adding like his own little twist. He wanted to add like trees and like oranges instead of pumpkins. So always love when he throws in his own little twist on <laughs> decorating.
So here in this next clip, I'm showing you guys my new curtains. I'm so excited about them. I did the DIY drop cloth curtains and they turned out so nice. I wanted something that was in between a tan and a gray. Um, we will be doing shiplap on this whole entire wall. So it will be white shiplap very soon. And I wanted a color that was going to go with the rug, the table, all of the wood accents in our house, but also tie in the gray because we do have a gray sofa. So I got these drop cloths from Home Depot for only like $12. So it was fairly inexpensive. And then I ended up getting the hooks from Amazon. And then I got our curtain rods from Target. I picked up another one and finally put up curtains in our living room after three years of living here. And then I made sure that I moved up this curtain rod above the sliding glass door so that they were equal. I'll show you guys later on but um, here again is an overview of all of the beautiful colors that I have picked out for this year. I have a couple of things left over from last year that didn't necessarily go with the new theme. I did find places in the house for everything. I put the plaid pumpkins downstairs just to kind of space out the decor themes a little bit um, and here you'll see me kind of messing around with this sign. Now I had originally planned to uh, frame this in wood but I just wanted to see if I was feeling this sign in the area first before I put a frame on it so I'm just kind of like playing around with some garland you'll see me put a couple of different things up here wasn't loving it like I said you guys will see that I swapped this out um, in the end for the map again that map is just such a great transition piece and the color just goes so nicely with everything in that area it just looks professionally designed it just it feels so warm and cozy and this white made it just a little bit too cool and like i said i really thought it needed a couple of more pumpkins on it but now going down to my entryway i was so excited to decorate around this mirror and i had my heart set on the maple leaves going around it um and i didn't love it so i ended up going back to my uh gut feeling which was these like really like coppery amber toned leaves i also got these from hobby lobby and I just decided to do like a half wrap with these and it turned out just as nicely. Drinking wine until the dawn Knowing soon we'll be back home Ooh, I'm thinking about you Ooh, So this is probably one of my most favorite pieces in the house. My most favorite part of the video, hands down, this was something that I saw on Pinterest with this like hanging mossy looking garland. This is actually the one that was on the table. Got this from Hobby Lobby half off for about $20 and then I staggered some pumpkins. The pumpkins are also all from Hobby Lobby. Got those for 40% off because their fall decor is 40% off right now. But this is my, like I said, hands down favorite part of the house right now, favorite part of the video. It just came together so cute little pops of orange in there very neutral very natural looking I love the green color of that moss it's so pretty um, now getting into the rest of my decorating oh my goodness you guys I was up and down these stools like 50 times and I swapped out the decorations about a million times my mom was in town so she was kind of helping me put things together she seems to always be in town when I do my seasonal decor so it's super fun like having her help me and tell me like what she thinks of a certain piece in a certain place but I really struggled with this area I always talk about like this feeling that I get when things are just perfectly coming together and I was not getting that with this space I really struggled because I wanted to love this sign in this area and I just didn't so I decided to put some of these candle holders up I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby for about seven dollars each I have it included in my fall decor haul from Hobby Lobby um, but I just was not loving this sign I'm so sad that I didn't because I worked so hard on it it took me about six hours to do the sign all in all 
but I just kind of played around with some of these pieces. That little tray in the middle, um, that stand, came from Hobby Lobby as well and was like $7. It was such a good deal. Um, now I am just moving that maple leaf garland. I believe it's maple leaf over to the side. No, it's not maple leaf. Definitely is not. But whatever kind of leaf it is, I moved it over to the side chalkboard. Also wanted to point out, yes, I did just recently hit 15K here on YouTube, and I wanted to thank you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart. I would not be here today without your guys' love and support. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. I just, ugh, I just can't. I will get into tears if I think about it too much, but I'm so happy for my journey here on YouTube and everything that I have experienced in the last almost two years of doing YouTube. It's been an absolute absolute dream so anyways here you'll see me um, I did swap out the sign for that map do you see how much nicer it looks with that map it's like such a natural tan color and Mike really loves this map so he was excited that I put it back up um, but I'm just kind of messing around with some garland trying to figure out what I want to do with this top shelf I really wanted it to be a statement piece kind of like the mantle in the living room I wanted to mimic it a little bit um, but not have it be the exact same thing so just kind of messing around with that top shelf here and ultimately decided to do the staggered pumpkins because you can never go wrong with some staggered pumpkins how beautiful did this part turn out I'm so excited I'm lighting myself a little candle. This is the pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. It's one of my absolute favorites. I talked about it in my Friday video. Um, I also love the leaves candles and I scent my home with leaves almost year round just because it's such a cozy home scent and I'll keep those in the wallflowers. Um, now getting back into the shelves. I struggle with these. I really do and I'm so happy with how these turned out this year for fall. Um, kind of want to like mimic the same thing on both sides but have it be different. It's so much harder than you think when you're putting things together because you want it, like I said, you kind of want it to mimic like the shape and the way that it comes in. I wanted to draw, I wanted like the eye to draw to the middle so like towards the shiplap wall in the center. So I've got some bigger pieces on the edges and then I just kind of staggered and brought the pieces lower in height as I came towards the center of the wall um, and I got these really really pretty pieces the um, little like floral arrangement is from Target I got two of those it was in the magnolia section and I mimicked like an orange and white and an earthy wood toned pumpkin on both sides for the bottom shelf for the center shelf I included um, lanterns on the ends, baskets right next to the lanterns, and then did something a little bit different on both sides, but wanted to draw in a little bit of that amber glass. So I've got an amber vase on one side and an amber glass candle holder on the other. Um, I had this really cute like farmhousey garland, decided to kind of intertwine that on that top shelf in the dining room. And then I had a few leftover decorations. I just had some um, of these like berries left over from a garland that I had taken apart. So I just put those up on the like pictures upstairs. I just thought it brought like a fall color to the upstairs as well. I'm really guilty of just decorating my main floor and then neglecting the other floors. So now it feels like fall on every floor in the house and I need to make my way to my bedroom next and the basement after that. So like I said, stay tuned for more fall decor videos coming very, very soon. But I really liked the way that this upstairs area came together. A significant life, just what it was needed. Clean in the blackest night, cloistered in injustice dead. So giving you guys an overview of the decor. 
today. I am so excited with how it turned out. The living room though, let's be honest, it's such a mess. I need to get my built-ins put in and a media center put in and it'll really clean it up. Um, but the dining room by far is my favorite dining room and then the mantle in the living room are my favorites. It's just so cozy and inviting. You'll see that I have a couple of places on the wall that I need to touch up with paint um, on the window because I moved that curtain rod up to just lengthen the room. I have such tall ceilings in my house and I just felt like it was really squatty um, by the dining room window. So I lifted that curtain rod up um, and have the drop cloth curtains on there. It's so beautiful with that really, really beautiful coppery colored um, throw that I have on the blanket and this beautiful centerpiece. I'm so happy with how it came together. Um, this little like green pumpkin was probably one of my favorites and it came in a multi-pack from Hobby Lobby. Highly suggest that you guys go check out Hobby Lobby this year because their decorations for fall were spot on with it, exactly what I was looking for um, with the natural neutral tones. So anyways, just giving you guys an overview of how the house looks when it came all together. Oh, I'm just so happy with it and I hope you guys find lots of inspiration from my fall decorating video so that when you guys get started, whether it be now or on September 1st, or on the first day of fall that you have all of the ideas for your own home. Leave it in the comments down below with what your guys' favorite part of this year's fall decorating was. Like I said, mine is most definitely the shelf and the whole dining room and the mantle in the living room. They just give me cozy vibes and makes me want to cuddle up with a bowl of soup and some apple crisp and to watch some Harry Potter. Who else is a Harry Potter fan out there? Fall is like my jam for Harry Potter and also Friends, which is really weird, I know, but I always watch Friends in the fall. But anyways, you guys, I'm just so happy with how this came together and I hope that you found all of the inspiration this year for your own fall decor. That is going to wrap it up for this year's fall decorate and clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the fall decorations that I put up this year. The new drop cloth curtains, I definitely love them. They're such a beautiful linen-y color and they pull in tan tones and gray tones. I'm really loving how everything turned out this year. Like I said, leave it in the comments below with what your favorite part of the house was this year and I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys.